Hey Army football fans, my name is Ruben Vargas, Senior Manager for the Army football team, and I'm going to show you what it takes to get ready for Army football game as Army faces Penn State this weekend. Go Army! So we're here, first thing we got to do is always pack the bags on the bus to get ready for Penn State. We got all the player bags on the bus right now, all their pads, their elbow pads, knee pads, gloves. We got the balls going in now, Manager's working really hard. We do a lot of work before we even leave. And uh, it's a great teamwork here. We've arrived at oh, yeah. the great Rock. Beaver Stadium. Lots of beavers flying around. You and, can tell. and check this out. Lots of beavers. This place is amazing. Wow. Unbelievable. So first thing we have to do is to unload the big semi. This big boy right here. Check Hello. this out. The famous Army football semi. You got Brad and Trey here. About to go up. Go ahead. Going in. And what we're about to do is clear this big semi right here. Check this out. So usually what we do is take out the big camo trunks in the back. Those go on the field. You got the trainer trunks, the power aid trunks, coach com. All that fun stuff on top, that was all gotta get out every time. Oh. And uh, it's always definitely a lot of work. All right guys, let's go. Let's Shut get to up. work, boys. Let's get to work. Okay. We got we got Alex and JD here. We are taking the trunks that we need for today to the locker room, which is really close to the truck. As you see, the truck was over there. Now we're going this way. Locker room is very convenient. Works out very well. I'm here with first year manager Brad and third year manager Dan. And uh, gentlemen, talk to us about the locker room setup. All right, so it's already set up for the most part, but usually it's not when we get here. So as you can see, there's already the helmets out, jerseys out, cleats out, um, and they're, they're suit for their warm up. They're already laid out. Usually these are not laid out clearly when you get here. We, we do all this. These are game cleats. They only wear these for the game, along with the game helmet um, and the game jerseys. So in a little bit, we're going to lay out all the pads, the players' pads. There's going to be certain people who need to get them taped. Um, those players, it just keeps the jerseys tight to them so they can't be held. So we're going to be doing that. Um, Brad, you want to take it on some more? Yeah, I'll take it. Um, basically, we're just looking for like, the football pads. Once we get the pads lined up, make it look pretty, put the jerseys on, and get it as for it, ready to wear for the game tomorrow. And once we finish with that, go back to the hotel and get ready for the big game tomorrow. So the team has arrived, and now we're putting the player bags off the bus. We're putting it into the laundry cart. And getting it ready to step in the locker room for game time. We're here with Clay. This is his 11th year as a football manager, first year with Army. Clay is putting on a jersey on taped pads. This is quite the trick. Let's watch this. He's going in. He follows through from the back. Probably not eight seconds now. It's nine, set seconds. And just like that, probably a new football equipment record. Pow! 15 seconds, jersey on tape pads. That's clay for you guys. So what we're doing is we fold the game pants on uh, right before game day. Except the locker room. We'll put on the bottom left. We're we're the game piece on top. Practice on the bottom. Helmet. Keep the game loops in the far back. Gloves, all the stuff they need on top. And we have the jerseys with the, already on the pads um, all ready for game day. So, looks pretty nice. So, we just finished the setup for a day before uh, game day. And uh, we're going to head up to the hotel room, get a nice rest, <laughs> get ready for tomorrow, and uh, it's going to be fun. It is about just before 6 a.m. It is wet, cold, early game day, and the managers are up and ready to go, getting some breakfast right now. And we're back working with the managers, and now we're going to put the trucks that's on the truck on the field. Because it's game day. Game day. Fifth year manager, communications manager, Ruben Vargas. Getting ready to set up the communications for the headsets for the game. That's right. Uh, different system. Not used to using this system, so it's a little bit more of a process today. But it's doing a great job, and we'll get it done even in this miserable weather. I feel like I shouldn't take this out here yet. Field setup has begun. Athletic trainers are starting to bring out their gear first. Laying it out on the tarp. Uh, over here, we're laying down the, the cleat pads where players clean their cleats and they come off the field. Uh, we're playing on a grass field today, so cleats can be pretty muddy. 
setting up the kicker nets, pushing more stuff out. We pretty much have everything set up for the field already. Everything's out, just waiting for it to stop raining before we take off the tarps. So part of the great thing about being a manager is having the best seat in the house. Watch yeah. this. The best seat in the house. It's pretty neat. Definitely worth it. It was a very close game. It's tough to lose those kind of games, but now it's time for us to go back to work. We're back at the stadium after another four hours of driving, and we are now putting everything back into the lockers. AJ is untaping the pads. Brad is putting everything back in the lockers. Cleats, gloves, pads, and Trey here is doing the same exact thing. Well, that concludes our trip from Penn State. It's been a pleasure showing you what we do as Army football managers on a daily basis for away games. Thanks for watching, and go Army, beat Navy.